should someone suspect bias or injustice on the part of a testator, and then reconciles between them, he commits no sin. Allah is forgiving and merciful. They ask you about intoxicants and gambling. Say, there is gross sin in them, and some benefits for people, but their sinfulness outweighs their benefit. And they ask you about what they should give, say, the surplus. Thus Allah explains the revelations to you, so that you may think. And give orphans their properties, and do not substitute the bad for the good. And do not consume their properties by combining them with yours, for that would be a serious sin. Do not marry women whom your fathers married, except what is already past. That is improper, indecent, and a bad custom. If you avoid the worst of what you are forbidden, we will remit your sins, and admit you by a gate of honor. Allah does not forgive association with him, but he forgives anything less than that to whomever he wills. Whoever associates anything with Allah has devised a monstrous sin. See how they devise lies against Allah. That alone is an outright sin. And whoever commits a mistake, or a sin, and then blames it on an innocent person, has taken a slander and a clear sin. And for their faithlessness, and their saying against Mary a monstrous slander. Say, come, let me tell you what your Lord has forbidden you, that you associate nothing with him, that you honor your parents, that you do not kill your children because of poverty, we provide for you and for them that you do not come near indecencies, whether outward or inward, and that you do not kill the soul which Allah has sanctified, except in the course of justice. All this he has enjoined upon you, so that you may understand. And do not come near the property of the orphan, except with the best intentions, until he reaches maturity. And give full weight and full measure, equitably, we do not burden any soul beyond its capacity. And when you speak, be fair, even if it concerns a close relative. And fulfill your covenant with Allah. All this he has enjoined upon you, so that you may take heed. And when they commit an indecency, they say, we found our parents doing this, and Allah has commanded us to do it. Say, Allah does not command indecencies. Are you attributing to Allah what you do not know? And we conveyed to the children of Israel in the scripture, you will commit evil on earth twice, and you will rise to a great height. And do not kill your children for fear of poverty. We provide for them, and for you. Killing them is a grave sin. And do not come near adultery. It is immoral, and an evil way. They have no knowledge of this nor did their forefathers. Grave is the word that comes out of their mouths. They say nothing but a lie. You have come up with something monstrous. And Jonah, when he stormed out in fury, thinking we had no power over him. But then he cried out in the darkness, There is no God but you. Glory to you. I was one of the wrongdoers. When you rumored it with your tongues, and spoke with your mouths what you had no knowledge of, and you considered it trivial, but according to Allah, it is serious. Those who do not expect to meet us say, if only the angels were sent down to us, or we could see our Lord. They have grown arrogant within themselves, and have become excessively defiant. When Luckman said to his son, as he advised him, O oh my son, do not associate anything with Allah for idolatry is a terrible wrong. O wives of the Prophet! Whoever of you commits a proven indecency, the punishment for her will be doubled. And that would be easy for Allah. O you who believe! Do not enter the homes of the Prophet, unless you are given permission to come for a meal, and do not wait for its preparation. And when you are invited, go in. And when you have eaten, disperse without lingering for conversation. This irritates the Prophet, and he shies away from you, but Allah does not shy away from the truth. And when you ask his wives for something, ask them from behind a screen, 
that is pure for your hearts and their hearts. You must never offend the messenger of Allah, nor must you ever marry his wives after him, for that would be an enormity with Allah. Those who harm believing men and believing women, for acts they did not commit, bear the burden of perjury and a flagrant sin. No indeed. It is one of their lies when they say. Allah has begotten. They are indeed lying. And those who avoid major sins and indecencies, and if they become angry, they forgive. Those who avoid gross sins and indecencies, except for minor lapses, your Lord is of vast forgiveness. He knows you well, ever since he created you from the earth, and ever since you were embryos in your mother's wombs. So do not acclaim your own virtue, he is fully aware of the righteous.